Tracy here. I just thought I would share with you this card that I had made for my dad's 70th birthday. My daughter and I are going to a concert in Winnipeg, so I'm going to actually hand deliver this to him. And he doesn't know we are coming, so that's going to be a nice surprise for him. And this is called, I'm not sure if it's called a, an explosion card or a box card or an explosion box card. I've seen it named all different types of uh, names on YouTube, so I have no idea what it's called. And what it is, it's nothing new. It's been around for a long time. It's just this is the first time I have ever made one. And what it is, is a card, so you can fold it up like that, and you can, so you can put it in an envelope, and then when the recipient receives it, those flop down, and then you have a, a box card. And it has the different layers, so that gives all the dimension, and what I did with this is I used a stamp of this fish, and then I colored it with, um, I think just colored pencils, and then this here... This was also on the stamp, this little um, lure, and so I stamped it with stays on, and then I colored it with my Copics on the back side of where I stamped it, so it kind of dwings around there, and I punched the water with, I think it's called a drippy goo punch, I think it's a Martha Stewart one, and then the bulrushes I made with this stamp, I just fed it in so the bulrushes were shorter, because this is a long stamp, and I only needed them about this long. So then I just fed it through again. And all the grass and all these pieces here and the stems, they were all just freehand. I just cut them with scissors. And then these are stickers here. And another thing I did was at the back, I put a little pocket back there so I can fit a gift card in there. This isn't his gift card, but I haven't got it yet. But then a gift card to fit in the back. And like I said, this is nothing new. This is just new to me. I've never made one of these before. And so just if you want to make one, go on YouTube and you'll find tons of tutorials. And there was one that I really thought was a fun tutorial where the lady made the insert all one piece on this one. The only reason I didn't use it was I thought it was too small. And then this one here, the tutorial I used for this one was too big, so I ended up using my own measurements for that. And then also on this little one that's obviously not finished, but I will get to be doing that soon, is I wanted some decorative edges. So I just used this stamp here, or punch, I should say, this punch, and I just fed the paper in and then punched it. I measured like whereabouts I wanted them so they'd all be the same, and then I put it in there and I punched that out. So I'm excited to get working on this one because this one I'm going to make, um, I think, cupcakes or I don't know, something girly. But here is the card for my dad's 70th birthday. So thank you everybody for joining me, and I hope you all had a very creative day today. Bye now.